So Luke, I just found out that this home is for sale for an amazing price of under $900,000. And I know everybody wants this house because of the amazing interior design. Whoa, are, are you serious? You're, you're dead wrong. It's definitely what? the energy efficiency and the technology that they're gonna sell this house. No way, for as long as we worked on this, everybody loves the design. What? Oh. I'm gonna have to beg to differ. I just brought in brand new digital art that came from all over the world. So hey, it won't I'm sorry, it won't that's why I'm bringing people yeah. in today. Luke, definitely. the girls are way off. Yep. It all has to do with technology. People wanna be able to control the lights and the televisions oh, all from a phone that. or tablet. No, no I disagree. Too. It's yeah. the unique accessories. Yeah. Yeah. Modern. No, yeah. respectfully disagree. It's the shower head. Look, I no. got a speaker, a Bluetooth speaker. I can plug it in, listen to music all morning. I absolutely agree, right? Lonnie. I love green grass. I can control the, the sprinkler yeah. right from my iPad. Nice. I'm sorry, gentlemen. I got to agree with the girls for the first time Ooh. in my you life. The it's the floor plan. It's Jenny's artwork. It's the colors. You're a builder, Tony. You've I, crossed over. Tell me why. No, you want to see that big display I brought out that shows how we built the walls and how energy efficient it is and, and how clean the air is in this house? Everybody about knows that, that color sells houses yeah, and front right. doors. Yeah. Now, you know what? we got a division here. You guys think the way you want to think, girls. We're on. You know what? I know it's the color. It's the furniture that we've got in here. spectacular almost 6,000 square feet on a ranch on a basement that's amazing you know what though Jenny's art I just looked at it is absolutely stunning here. yeah I thought about the outside of this home and the inside of this home you can't beat what we have going on for mm -hmm. local and international talent Definitely. Yeah. Guys, colors I don't know how you think you can compete with the solar panel out back we got two types one that's producing power and one that's giving us our hot water yeah. Luke, those solar panels give us all the energy we need to watch any game or movie we want on the 120 inch big screen That's down the basement. That is pretty good. <laughs> Not only that with the technology, you can scan any QR code and find out information about plants. And speaking of plants, you can take this prod, stick it in the ground near your plant, and it will tell your iPhone if you need fertilizer or water. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. cool. Hey, Milani, we have a full half a house here that shows how the home is made, the insulation, the windows. This is just like what we have at our Granite Ridge showroom that we can show how this home is constructed. You know, this is all well and good, and this is kind of getting a little heated between little the two bit. of us, but I think we better start the show. Mm -hmm. Time is getting away. Hey, welcome to Between the Studs. I'm Lonnie Norris, and this is part of the Granite Ridge Custom Builders team, including Tony Reinke, president of Granite Ridge Builders. We build custom homes in Northern Indiana, Northwest Ohio, and also parts of Southern Michigan, and we enjoy sharing with you all those many things to think about when you build a custom home. And I think, Tony, we've kind of figured out what we want to do today. Yeah, well, everybody knows, like Kayla said, this house is now for sale for $900,000. Yeah. We have had so many people come and look at it. Tony, how many people have come out here we've, so We've far? had people here from uh, 30 different states. Oh, We've had over 10 politicians. We have had all kinds of people wanting to see the energy efficiency, the design. We must be at least over 7,000, 10,000 people through this house. Okay, so what we'd like to give our audience today is a little view of that, but I think we figured out this. There is a big chasm between what you think is important here and I think what us girls think are important here. Okay, well guess what? I think we can prove you all wrong. You prove yours. Let's do this, girls. We're going to pick a subject. You pick one. We'll show you which one's best. Let the audience decide. It'll be easy. All right. right girls, let's, have, let's have a huddle. We're going to talk about what we're going to do first. Do you want to help me move this display, though? Up with me. Welcome to the House of Innovation and Technology. Izzy, the reason we reintroduced the stud show about two years ago was because this house only, wasn't it? And for two years, you've watched this film in here. We've had some great times, some funny times, oh, yeah. but there's been so much to show from technology to architecture to art. There's so much about this home that makes it one of the most innovative, and it's probably one of the biggest selling points that Grand Rapids has had over the past two years. Yeah, we are lucky because you and I get to introduce the floor plan itself. Mm -hmm. It is probably one of the most stunning floor plans you'll ever see. It's an open concept. We've got the kitchen right next door. You've got the master bedroom on the first floor that is absolutely to die for. We'll show you that in a second. 
We even have glass balusters for the stair rail. We have a coffered ceiling behind mm -hmm. us. What else? I love it. The, the, we've got the sunroom, we've got a screened in porch, and that's all just still the first floor. But the best part is that when you go downstairs is the part where many people think they can make their own living just down there because you've got another great room. You've got a kitchen, you've got a bedroom, a bedroom, bathroom, oh, yeah. and then of course my favorite part is our, our theater room and our wine grotto. So the downstairs alone could sustain you. Yeah, I think everybody's got to come out and see this. We are open. Uh, this is off of Flutter Road. The girls are going to show one of the best parts, too, the kitchen, the next segment. I don't think the guys are ever going to be able to compete with this. I don't think they have any more than this, do they? Well, the guys are going to be jealous because, of course, we still get to talk about the garage and our outbuilding. Oh, good point. Two big features for us. Both of them are heated. There's nothing they can do to even touch us. I like it. Let's get everything ready for the next segment. Well, Kayla, I'm not much of a cook, but I do adore this kitchen. It is absolutely amazing. You know, one of the most important things to consider in a kitchen is the flooring, and we've carried this flooring throughout almost the entire main level, 2,500 square feet of a porcelain wood-looking tile floor. Great. Holds up very well, especially in a kitchen application. Now, this kitchen's gorgeous, and probably my favorite part is the countertop. We have Cambria Quartz countertops throughout this entire home, nine different colors and styles, and we even did on the island a little bit of a thicker profile so it makes a nice wow factor. And it's a bright, crisp white. Now everyone talks about the farm sink and I know you're really sad when this home sells to give up the sink. I will be. The sink is definitely my favorite. It was the design for the entire house started with this sink. But everybody loves those farmhouse sinks right mm -hmm. now and so it's very popular. It's very ergonomically correct and it goes well with the modern design. Well, I like the name of it. It definitely, the Piccadilly Yellow. It's crazy. Um, the other thing that's really popular in this, this kitchen would be Grable cabinets. They're gorgeous. I know you did a taller cabinet so the upper cabinet is 42 inches high. Probably one of the most talked about features is the open shelving though. Definitely. I love the open shelving right now. It really accents that backsplash wonderfully. And you have so many different features with the Grable cabinets. You have the maple, the gray glaze. You have a nice blue gray on the island. I don't know if it can get any better except for maybe even the pantry. You're right. That's an endless pantry. It just keeps on going and you have some amazing organizer features in that. I don't know about you, but I think we got it all covered right here. We do, we do. It's perfect. Yeah. I think the girls are gone now. Yeah, we need to talk a little bit more about this technology. I thought for sure they'd talk about the really cool stuff in the kitchen. The technology and the appliances. Absolutely. I mean, this is the one that's really coming of age right now. Absolutely. And let's start, first of all, with the refrigerator. Tell us a little bit about the refrigerator. You know, it is all about the refrigerator with this one because it is set up. You have two sections for refrigerator, one section for freezer, and one section that can be refrigerator or freezer. Plus, it has a soda stream. It has water in the door. And, Dave, if you could open the door real quick. Now you have all the temperatures of what each and every compartment is right there so you can see really easily. The other thing neat about this, if you leave the door open, it's actually going to set off an alarm so that you know that the refrigerator door is still open. But the only thing I still need to do, Tony, is make my grocery list. That's coming soon where they can actually take pictures of the inside of your refrigerator and then you can just pull it up on your phone and you can see everything right there. What, what about this double oven over here, Tony? Tell us a little bit about that. The double oven is really nice because it is set up that you could actually preheat it from your cell phone. If you need mm. to, you just hit the button on the cell, it's going to kick on so you can have that oven preheated from the time you get from the office back to your house. And So when I get home, it's all ready to go. It's all ready to go. What, 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 tell us a little bit more about some of the uh, other technology in the kitchen here. The other technology in the kitchen is we still have a really sharp dishwasher. It is set up so that it actually has multi-levels to it. It also has certain sprayers. So if you have wine glasses or baby bottles that you need to get that uh, soda or that water spray mm -hmm. into there, it could take care of it. We have the microwave set up underneath the counter so it's mm -hmm. really easy to use. It's handicap, uh, handicap accessible and also an induction top cooker so that it's not going to burn your hands or anything like that. It's actually set up to work with the pans to heat the pans and the stove top itself is not going to get that hot so mm -hmm. kids or anyone is not going to burn themselves. And also the other neat thing about this too is the garbage disposal. This the garbage disposal is amazing. It is extremely quiet. You can barely tell that it's on. And you can almost put a ball cap down there and it'll get rid of it for you. Well, by far, Tony, we beat the We got it. This. It's we all got about this the hands technology down. and the science.
probably the most requested room that homeowners come in for is a sunroom. And we have a sunroom here at the Next Step Home. And what we've done here to make a huge difference too is use Hunter Douglas shades. With the touch of a button here on your smartphone or your smart pad, you can make sure that you can take the sun completely out with shade or you can go kind of in between or of course have it full sun. All from your iPad. Now mm -hmm. I understand that technology. What a great idea. Mm -hmm. We also have a porch out here. A lot of times we do a screened in porch, but this one is a little different. It's called an Easy Breeze window. It's a vinyl product and it actually gives you a very durable window. This is a no brainer if you live on a golf course, easy way to have a screened in porch and make sure you protect it. And it's great because you can move these all the way up, all the way down. You can use your porch much longer. You may maybe put a heater out there in the winter. It's mm -hmm. good to go. Or a really hot day like today, they're all the way up and you have just a screen. Yep. So we talk about this a lot. We're doing a lot of things like sunrooms to screen in porches to your outdoor patio. It's transitional living. You've got a couple different ways you can enjoy the outdoors. And it's all here at the Next Step House. I love bookcases. I love the way they've taken on a new twist. They're more decorative and I love these accessories and you have really unique art. Yeah, I do. So at Choice Designs and at Jennifer Ford Art, we always try to pick artwork that has a story. Um, these pieces we discovered in Detroit. They're an artist there, his name is Doug Swartz, and he's part of the Sheriff's Gun Buyback Program there in Detroit. He takes the guns apart, and then when he sells each one of his pieces, he gives the money back to the victims of violent crime. So we just took these pieces recently to New York City. They were the hit of the show, and now we get to take them back here to this uh, innovation home, and we're so excited about it. Really, the theme's working really well, and Grant Ridge Builders, Choice Designs, we all have a heart for um, helping people, and this just kind of really fit in with our story. This is incredible, and we're in the den at the Innovation Home. This room could be a multi-purpose area. You could use it as a dining room, a den as we have. It's actually almost an art gallery right now with this, and these are for sale, Am Yeah, correct? yep, absolutely. So we have them available at Jennifer Ford Art. You can come and see them for a very limited time here, um, and we actually have a few other shreds at the Choice Design showroom as well. So give us a call whenever you want to take a look. Very creative. Now, what you have on the wall has me fascinated. It's so innovative, this piece of art. Yeah, absolutely. So um, everyone here loves their lake home. We're in the middle of summer and it's all about the lake cottage. This piece not only takes you right back to your, you know, to your lake cottage, but that scene, it's a painting plus digital media art. Honestly, you can't get any better with this work of art. You can sit here and watch it all day long. It's fascinating. Incredible, and I know there's a few other pieces here and he's a local artist. Izzy, I'm so tired of you going back and forth <laughs> through the jib door. I can't help it, this is like my favorite feature here. Jib doors are amazing. <laughs> it's still on my bucket list that my next home I'll have to have one, something like this hopefully. I attribute it to my watching of Scooby-Doo all the time as a kid. There was always a jib door. I just love it. Okay, well, I guess have fun. We're gonna move on. There's more to talk about. You know, Luke, the gals have a lot of wonderful ideas, but when it comes to technology, which is kind of our hot spot, we got some really incredible things to talk about in this house. Let's talk solar. Yeah, as you can see behind us, Lonnie, we actually have a couple different types of solar at this house. So let's start with the, the ones down here on the ground. Okay. Yeah, those are solar thermal collectors. Okay. So what those are doing are providing the domestic hot water for the house. Uh, the way it works is there's just a kind of like an antifreeze mix that goes through there. It heats up, it's under a vacuum, and only has to get up to 80 degrees before it'll actually start boiling. Then we transfer that into our domestic hot water, providing hot water to our faucets, our showers, and our dishwashers. And besides that, we have geothermal heating here. So anytime the geothermal unit is running, it is also generating hot water or, yeah, hot, or heat. Exactly, so the geothermal actually helps preheat the water and then the, domestic, or the uh, solar thermal collectors will actually heat it up the rest of the way. Okay, now they don't only heat the domestic hot water, but they also heat the garage or the garage floor? Yeah, you're absolutely Explain right. That. So we are still using that for a radiant heat floor through our garage. So there's a couple systems uh, lines running through our floor that actually heat the floor, which then radiates through and then heats our garage and keeps it a nice comfortable temperature even in the winter. That garage is to die for and to think that it's actually heated in the winter time, it doesn't get any better than that. You're right. Sorry girls, but then also there's a PV or a photovoltaic system here. Yeah. Let's talk about and that's it. what's elevated. So that's what's up on the roof that you can see on the auxiliary garage there. Now that's at the perfect angle for where our son's located in Indiana to create power for the house. 
Wow, so between the geothermal heating system, which is incredible, and the two solar systems, we yep. got it covered. Yeah, we? and the PV panels that you can see up on the roof, we've actually done another area that's a little bit less obvious. On the top of the pergola over here okay. to my right, you can see it's laying flat, which isn't at the optimal angle, but those are still producing very, very well for us. And it's a little less intrusive, I guess you could say. Very practical and really cool looking. Yeah, and from a technology standpoint, uh, we can actually pull up on an app and actually see how much power we're generating at any given point of the day. Now, and Lonnie, how much would you say a system like this costs? Wow, you can get uh, $15,000, $20,000 wrapped up in your domestic hot water system. And then on a home, I mean, you're looking at 50, in this case, over $100,000 solar system that's been installed here to take care of the electrical needs. So Elizabeth, as we've talked about before with outdoor living, some fun accessories are definitely the key. It definitely is. And I love the setup we have here at the Innovation Home. I, you know, you can't get any better than this. You have an entire kitchen out here with two grills. You do, and I love the stamped concrete. Really showcases this backyard. And then the covered pergola. There's so many different living spaces here. You have the fire table, which is an awesome talking point. And don't forget about even just the plants and all the beds that are around here. They're gorgeous. You're right. Recently, we did a whole show on outdoor living really coincides with this and we did talk a lot about plants and we have great examples out here we have hibiscus we have petunias hydrangeas just about anything you can imagine and there's so much color and life to this outdoor living and it really is the key in fort wayne indiana outdoor living is where you want to spend your time let's go take a look at the granite countertops on the kitchen here look another neat techie thing about this house has to do with landscaping yeah, uh, we got what we call QR codes sprinkled all throughout the landscape in there. You can see these plaques are spread all around, and it's actually quite nice. You can see there's a little barcode there, mm -hmm. and I mentioned the QR, that's a quick, quick reference. reference. Okay. Yep. yep, and you actually scan it with your phone, and it will actually tell you all the information that you want to know about any of these given plants. Probably some things I don't even want to know. Exactly. It'll tell you what zone it works best in, it'll tell you uh, if it likes shade, if it likes the sun, how often to water it, oh, all that information. Cool. And then also taking care of the plants, I understand we have drip irrigation that's been installed in this home? Yeah, so a lot of these hanging plants that you see hanging behind us actually have a drip irrigation line running to it, uh, which we can control through our phone because it is part of the irrigation. So, you know, on a hot day like today, our landscaper can bump that up and give it a little extra water. So we're talking about control by phone, and not only is the drip irrigation controlled by phone, and we can learn about plants by phone, but also the irrigation system itself. Yeah, so, so the zones for all the yards are also controlled by a special app that takes into consideration the current weather, and if it got rain that day, it'll back off how much watering that it needs. Uh, but then also, again, on a hot day like today, when there's no rain forecasted, it might water the lawn a little extra. And you can also manipulate that through that app on your phone. Man, those are neat features. I'm going to vote again for the men. Well, one big talking point here at the Next Step Home are the barn doors we have in the lower level. It's still a big trend with interior design. The barn door look goes with the craftsman feel. It's a really popular trend. We've just taken your typical door, added the hardware, and boom, great luck. And with ours, we've actually hidden here our theater room, which of course is one of our most promising rooms here. We've got lots of uh, seating here that's a little bit different than your normal seating though. You're right, this room is spectacular. We have more of a conversation setup. So we have more of a U-shaped sofa rather than your stadium seating where you don't get to talk and visit. Here you can watch the game and talk to your friends at the same time. We've also got recessed lighting as well as recycled and recyclable wallpaper as well as some really high level carpeting. Whoa, 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 Izzy, Izzy, Izzy. When you're talking about theater room, technology rules with that. Tony, there are so many things to talk about in this theater room, but it all starts with the 120 inch screen and the high def projection television. There's not a better place in town to watch a ball game. What's well, one thing that's great about this room is the technology that we put around it. We put a sound reducing drywall in here so you can have the game turned up or the movie turned up. People can be out playing pool or at the kitchen. They won't even know what's going on. And it's so easy to get carried away with the volume with all these built in speakers that we added. There is just so much going on in this room, including I think my favorite part, which is the star ceiling above us. So we've got 1,500 individually ran fiber optic lights attached to LED bulbs so you'll never have to replace them. You can have that effect for every movie with the stars twinkling above you. 
and we've actually connected the wine grotto to the theater room so you can have people out here in the bar area people here in the theater room area you can be passing drinks and food back and forth this is the place to entertain now that we've talked about it i think we've done our part let's That's actually enjoy it. it hey you know what here this is for you perfect what, what are we gonna watch I, there's got to be a game on Elizabeth, this basement has so much to offer. It's absolutely spectacular, and I could live just in this area right here, the wine grotto. It's really amazing how much this home does have to offer. I love this wine grotto. We have a cork floor, so it's very soft. We also have a beautiful brick accent wall with some built-ins to store your wine, your wine glasses, anything else you want to store back here. Quartz countertops with a chiseled edge. There's also a wine tasting corner. Who would have thought of that? Right, there is. And then I love the lighting detail in here. It's actually wine glasses that are lit up. And probably one of my favorite things is the second stairway. So you can exit through here, out through the garage. It's absolutely perfect. And this area right here actually opens up to the theater room. So you have easy access and you can actually sit here, enjoy the, the TV and still be in this space. Yeah. And don't forget, the whole rest of the lower level is perfect as well. It sure is. We have a craft room. We have another kitchen, a full bathroom, really a lot of amenities. We do, and don't forget that kitchen, there's LED tape light that goes below the toe kick, above the upper cabinet, so you have a lot of fun lighting accents in there. Again, all quartz countertops, absolutely beautiful. Some more built-ins. You ha even have a game area where we have a shuffleboard table and pool table or any other things you'd like to bring into the home. There's so much space here and so many activities for everybody. You have to love it. One of the big concerns that a homeowner will bring is, well, what's my master bedroom going to be like? And we really try to take the edge off of this room and provide a little bit more of a tranquil setting. We have some really fun light fixtures, a wonderful cathedral ceiling, and some great beam structure. I agree with you, Kayla. This is a beautiful design. It's a beautiful layout. But what really makes this room is all the technology that's in the master bathroom. We've got a shower that actually has preset for people. So you just go in, hit person number one, your shower temperature is just perfect. We've got heated floors all the way up into the master shower. The seat in the shower is heated. Plus we've got a toilet that is just so crazy filled with technology, we can't even get into all of it right now. Well, I agree with that, but the design of the bathroom is what really wows people with this river rock tile pattern that goes from the entrance all the way through the shower, the awesome cabinets and the great Cambria quartz countertops. And don't forget the mosaic tile all the way around the mirrors. I mean, really, that's what people are in here for. Once again, I think it's pretty. I think technology rules though. So I think that we need to be bipartisan right now and just agree to disagree. And, you know, understand that it's both beautiful and full of technology that's great. All right, I guess I can see your points here. Uh, well, let's go argue about another room. All right. I'm out here at our innovation home located at 7467 Flutter Road. We've shown you this home before in previous episodes of Between the Studs, but it's really a home you need to come out and experience for yourself. Stop by on Sundays from one to four so I can show you and demonstrate all the wonderful technology, the energy efficiencies, and all of the amazing design elements that we've incorporated into this home. The home is newly listed for just under 900,000. Come out and see me on Sundays. We're located right next to River Hollow, which is one of our exclusive communities offering features like carriage barns, one acre parcels, and all public utilities like public water, sewer, and natural gas. Lot prices start from $59.9 and range up to $69.9. Come and see me Sunday from 1 to 4 or call me at the number below. I'd love to meet you out here so you can see this amazing home. When it comes to technology, it's not always about expensive stuff either. I have what looks like a simple outlet cover here, but if you flip to the back, it's got two little tabs on it. Then down below, it's got three LED lights. So this is actually a night light in an outlet cover. It doesn't take up one of your outlets, so you can still plug things into it. It lights up your hallway uh, path lighting or any other areas at night, like a bathroom. Works great. We have a bunch of these at our house. Good luck beating that, Tony. As far as art goes, I think I can nail this one, Luke. This is an elephant. It's probably got over 2,000 nails in it put together. Extremely heavy. One unique piece. Now, Dave, I think this is a lot hotter than your item. 
Tony, I have the hottest trend in fireplaces, the electronic fireplace. It's beautiful, it sets the mood, it uh, lets off heat, and it's not very expensive to even use. So, Elizabeth, accept that challenge. A stop and drop is essential for any home. You can drop your mail off, you can charge your iPad, your phone, put your purse here, pay bills. JR, I dare you to top this. Elizabeth, you think that tech nook was cool? Let me show you some real technology. This is a product from Delta where I can pre-program all my favorite shower settings. One of the most popular design trends right now is a set of lockers in a garage entry, and this one is the best I have ever seen. We did a clear, dry erase paint, so you can put that on any surface, not even know it's dry erase, and you can come up to it and have your notes and anything else that you'd like. You can have your grocery list, your kids' chores, and now who can top that? Lonnie, try your best. I've got a couple cool features as it relates to the front door. First of all, I've got a lock that you can lock or unlock with your iPhone. Also, it's gonna tell you when the door is opened or closed. Also, take a look at this peephole. It's electronic. It's actually gonna show you who's at your front door and take a picture if you don't happen to be there. Top that, girls. Some people's idea of a man cave is down in the basement with your theater room. Other people's idea of a man cave is right here in the garage where I've got a heated epoxy floor here and lots of cabinetry to make sure I keep all my tools in check. Beat that. After all that, I think I rest my case, and the energy efficiency and the technology is what's going to sell this house. I get where you're going with it, I do, but you're still way off base and not even close to being right. Yeah, but I'm with Kayla. Listen, I'm always right, we're always of right, we you might as well accept yeah. it. It's just All how the it technology is. in the house, you use it all the time, it saves you so much time. Yeah. How do you not admit that that's the Does reason I? this house is going to sell? I don't know. I, I don't know, girls, but I'm starting to kind of buy what they said. That technology really? sign, I'm sorry, I'm going to jump ship. Yeah. I'm thinking yeah. just yeah. Yeah. And I'm, and I'm, I'm sorry, guys, I got to go over here with the girls oh, yeah. and everything I, because I just love the way it is. Yes. I'm getting a little artsy too. Okay. Oh, we have a convincing yeah. argument. Well, I'm going to agree to disagree. We want to remind you this home is for sale. It's available now. 8989. Please give us a call. Stop in on a Sunday. We're typically open 1 to 4. We'd love to talk to you, but it is available. Almost 6,000 square feet in outbuildings. So much to see. As always, guys, we want to thank you for spending part of your day with us. Um, if you'd like to learn a little bit more about who we are, what we do, and why we do what we do so well, please just pick up the phone, give us a call, visit the website below, better yet, come in our front door, or this one, we'd love to meet you. You know, thank you guys so much for watching. As you can tell, I'm not sure this was the um, least argumentative we've ever been, but I still think ours is right. So guys, we're gonna go someplace. Let's go someplace. Let's go watch yeah. 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 I'm going back inside. Ooh, it's always a lot. In addition, we've got a fiber optic ceiling in the ceiling here, which absolutely emulates stars. It makes it a really uh, wonderful, that's just trash. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and in addition, we've got amazing recycled and recyclable wallpaper, as well as some amazing carpet. I was afraid he was going to say recycled carpet. I don't know why I thought that was coming. <laughs> now we have a cork floor here. We have beautiful brick accents on the wall. Beautiful built-ins to store your wine and your wine glasses. Beautiful, sorry, I said beautiful so many times. <laughs>